Yesterday, students from deaf schools across Arizona spent the day preparing for the real world. Take a look at what you can do to prepare for your next job interview. Thank you. They checked in for a morning of workshops where they learned interviewing tips. All right, so suppose that your boss asks you how you work in a team. What, what would you tell them about teamwork? How to dress. And do you guys see anything wrong with this picture? Anything? No? No, you think it's good? Good job. That's right. And even how to discuss their deafness with employers. I thought it was good, and it was really interesting. I felt like I learned a lot from the things here, the students and seeing the jobs and that kind of a thing. Hannah Garino is a junior at Sequoia School for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. She says she's looking forward to the opportunities with these companies. Well, I learned a lot from the practice interviews. That was kind of tough. And the whole point of this is to expose those kids that are job-ready age to opportunities for employment. Sue K. Kneifel is with the Arizona Rehabilitation Services Administration and one of the people who set up yesterday's job fair. For the student perspective, it's, it's an accessible um, venue for them to speak with employers. And for some of the students, they've not had exposure, they've not had employment experience before. This is the second year hosting the job fair. About five high schools attended the event and close to 20 booths were available for students to visit. And so we believe that it's very important to, to engage the, the deaf community and believe that they need the support to be productive in our workforce. So we do a little bit of everything. Uh, this would, brochure will tell you all the different kinds of careers that there are going. We also have... The Boeing Company attended the event and says they've worked with a number of deaf employees. They can be productive. You know, they're good employees and they know how to work. They want to work and, it's, and that's, that's a really critical for us. And for Hannah, employers open to hiring deaf people are important for her future. If there weren't any deaf people who were given jobs, well then they wouldn't have any connection to the hearing world. They just kind of be shoved out and feel left out and maybe have to depend on SSI or things. Sue Kay expects a number of fairs like these to happen throughout the country and says even students who leave Arizona can use these skills they've learned here. Learning the soft skills and having exposure to employers um, and being able to utilize those um, soft skills in a safe environment where the communication is accessible, you can use those skills wherever you go. For those of you looking for deaf-friendly businesses but don't have access to these fairs, you can go to pawwork.com for online listings.